Hello there, and welcome to Fridays with Tab and Chance. I'm Tabitha Brown, and this is my husband. I'm Chance, what's up? And today we have special guests. I'll let them introduce themselves. You ladies first. Hi, I'm Angel Moore, a.k.a. Angel Tanksley, mm-hmm. a.k.a. That Chick Angel. Yeah. I'm my husband. <laughs> Yeah, you Marcus Tanksley, a.k.a. Tank. It's very much similar energy. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. It's, it's, very they know, know, they know how they know us. Yes, vibrant, alive, awake. See how black and dark they are. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Shame. Yeah, same energy, same mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all know the song? Yeah, I, I do. do. Okay. Oh. Very good. You know he do the beat. Mm-hmm. He don't like nobody else. No, nah, I wasn't going to do the beat. You know what, man? Have fun. Man. Mm-hmm. Just y'all enjoy it as much as you want. You can riff. You can drag. You can hit reverb on you. Do. Oh. You can mix it up. Hip hop. Whatever you want to do. Whatever y'all want to do. Have fun. Enjoy <laughs> yourself. I'm, I'm very nervous. <laughs> mm-hmm. Don't put that on me, I don't know what might happen on this Chance, episode. Don't, don't put mm-hmm. that on me. <laughs> I'll be happy. Let's go. Oh. All right. Ready? Mm-hmm. Bring the beat in. Friday, <laughs> Friday, <laughs> Friday, <laughs> we had a chance. I don't keep on keep on thinking. Friday, <laughs> Friday, <laughs> Friday, <laughs> we had a Yeah, yeah. Oh, listen, he gave me permission. That's all I needed. <laughs> <laughs> it's a first time having that. Okay, it's just give it very good. All right. <laughs> well, welcome to Fridays with Tab and Chance. Uh, first of all, how we feeling? Good, good. good. We dropped kids off today. Yeah. Today was first day of school. First yes. day of school. All of our kids is in school now. All of right them. How you yeah. feel about that? I got a little bit of a. Tur in my eye as we were driving away, leaving Amar, and then I was like, I'm fine. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Then it, yeah. And then yeah. it all came back to me like, no, this is what you wanted. Yeah. Yeah, I was, yeah. Uh, you know, I was big, man, get him out of my head. Oh. And then last night I was laying in bed thinking about how he might feel, and I was like, oh. Then this morning it all went away when he didn't want to get ready. <laughs> so by the time we dropped him off, get out. Because he, he, he went to like a preschool before. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. And so he was used to going oh, yeah, he to school and all that. But he hated it. Then hated it then too. Oh, he would be like, I don't yeah. want to see my friends. <laughs> I would be like, but your oh, friends he, are there. He just like to be at home. Correct. Or with his, or with my mother. Yeah. Got it. Mm-hmm. Understood. And he's a baby. Correct. But mm-hmm. he don't give spoiled though. He don't give like baby spoiled energy. He give like I just live my life. He does do that. Pick okay. him up from my mama and you'll see spoiled. He is. Oh. He couldn't feed himself when we picked him up. He said, Mama, my arms are tired. Can you feed me? <laughs> my body is tired so you can figure it out wait a minute that's what he said to you he said it to me because that's what your mama do I don't know what she does oh. I don't know what that woman does to that boy but he comes back I'll be ready to sell him <laughs> I'm like I'll give you a real good price yeah. I'm like mama what did you they got I said you, you hurting them oh. they need to be independent Yeah. you ain't clean my room for me you didn't feed at five four oh. I was changing the oil in the car. You know, she realized that's her last baby. Uh huh. That's her she last baby. That's her last grandbaby too. Yeah. Cause y'all done. We done, and his mm-hmm. siblings definitely better not be making no more. Oh. Yeah. Well, we got one. Ain't no telling. But do, do, do everybody got boys in your family? No. Uh, my brother has a girl, and my sister has two girls. And his brother has a boy too, but oh, that's okay. the only other boy. And in your family, we got a bunch of everything. Oh, okay. But we're more boys than girls. So you're the only one that had all boys. Correct. Mm-hmm. In both of y'all families. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. So how is it being a boy mom? You know what? I did not think the boy <laughs> got it right. It's what I thought. <laughs> I was like, I'm a girl's girl. Like, I'm not like frou-frou. Uh-huh. But like, I was raised with all sisters. My core group of friends are women. I'm not somebody that typically makes a bunch of friends with guys. So mm-hmm. I was like, Lord. You know what I can do. Yes. And he said no multiple times, as we see. But now I can't even imagine being a girl mom. Like, I have no idea what I'd be doing. And I just, I think I realized I'm probably not as soft of a person as probably a girl mom you needs, you to, needs to be. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I really wouldn't know. Like, uh, my goddaughter that lives here, little baby girl, while I love dressing her up, I'm like, <clears throat> 
I would probably be too hard of a mama for you. Oh, yeah. I'm not like the little like, oh, my God, are you OK? I'd be like, get up. Do you think it, that has happened because you've had these boys for so long now? No, or I think, think I realized that's, that? that's, that's my personality. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Tay? Each, I wanted a boy for our first one. And I purposefully got excited for a girl because I didn't want to be disappointed. Oh. And then when I got the boy, I was a little disappointed. And each time we had another boy, I was a little disappointed because I was like, I, I do think I want, want me a little girl. Oh. But now, uh-huh. I realized <laughs> I'm, it's probably a good thing I didn't have a girl because she would be worthless. Yeah, he would the make way her worthless. All my friends, all my little cousins, all my niece, they have me wrapped around their fingers so tight. Yeah. Anybody, because and that's I get that from my dad and my brother. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, because I don't have girls, but we all like that, like yeah. just anything they want. Yeah, I've fully. seen, I've seen that in you. Yeah, I'm, yeah I've seen that from just watching you in your household. <laughs> well, how you, you, you kind of stop everything with the people that you're familiar with, the women in your life. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I see, it. yeah, I can see that. You is you, he like that with you, doing? <clears throat> yes and no. He be acting all like, no, you can't, da 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 da, uh, and then he just gonna give in. So I be like, why give me the fight up top if you just gonna give me what I want anyway? I don't because you don't always want the fight, and sometimes you <laughs> might just back away because you're spoiled. Mm. Who's spoiled? Right? The that ain't what I'm saying. To her. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm just letting oh, you know. Oh. <laughs> I didn't need no rebuttal on that. I'm just saying she's spoiled. And you got to hear it sometimes. Oh, and yeah. sometimes she don't want to put up. She look, all right, whatever, good. So that's why you be in the videos like, I ain't gonna do this. Then yeah, that's stuff I actually hate. hate. But you still, <laughs> but you still do. But you still do. Why you don't touch me? <laughs> <laughs> so this leads into the perfect way to to segue into how did y'all meet and were the roles always like this? Mm, that second part of the question I yeah. got to think about. <clears throat> Uh, but how we met is an easy one to answer. Yeah. So I went to the University of Kentucky, uh, mm-hmm. and I was living off campus for a part of the time in income-based housing. Meet with my best friend. We got evicted. It, from the income-based housing? Yeah, because apparently the dog we had got out oh. and attacked one of the uh, the maintenance <laughs> men. So dogs getting out is something yeah. that, that, has, is, that y'all do. Well, no, Pre- see what- Well, what, one, yeah. Y'all Pre- what kind of dog was <clears throat> Oh, my. I, it, I got it. I bought it for my best friend for her birthday for $20. I don't know. Yeah. That, that was Hold up. That was then. That dog died like three hours ago. That, that dog, dog lived for forever. That dog <laughs> was like 20. No, like that dog lived for 20 years. Like When she it, told me he died, I said, wait. It took forever for y'all to die. <laughs> <laughs> but I bought a four for $20. The pro- this is the only reason why I didn't fight it. Because my best friend was the one who was at home. She was like, I don't think he got out. I think they just try to blame us. I was at a job that I was not uh, declaring. Oh. So I was making income but not paying rent. Oh. So I would have called them and been like, y'all need to show us proof. But then I was like, if they find out you have a job, the so eviction is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. said, so we just going to take his L. <laughs> <laughs> we moved in with her mother, and then I was like, I cannot live here with this. I can't. I, I'm a grown woman. My best friend had moved out and lived with her boyfriend. I'm still living with her mom. Uh-uh. Yes. Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> so you and your best friend get evicted. Yes, we did. Y'all together move into her mom's house. house. Mm-hmm. She leave you move in with her boyfriend. And you still live with her mom. I'm still living with her mom. That's hilarious. And so I said, this I came to mama roommate. Uh, yes, I was. Yes, I was. I was like, uh, if Miss Roberta made me cook, <laughs> come on, Miss Roberta. She, she made you cook. She was like, here are the recipes. You just go in here <laughs> and you make sure you take the fish out so you that they rent it. Under this no. household. Oh, so you had to cook. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I did not. I did not. <laughs> she was going to put it yeah. in. I was not complaining. I was just like, I'm a cook. But I was like, I need, I'm not even living with my own mama. My mama was living in Baltimore at the time. I said, like, I need to move out. His sister and another young lady that I went to college with needed another roommate. Oh, okay. And because of the eviction on my credit now, mm-hmm. I needed to move in with people <clears throat> who already had a situation going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I moved in with his sister, and one day during my process of moving in, he came over. Yeah. So that's how. Uh, yeah, see, that did. that was my, they had this extra room. That was my little pit stop every now and then. You know, I was out oh, here running it these was your streets. Room. Yeah, yeah, it was it was semi my room. Yeah. <clears throat> Out here running these streets, so I would just stop over at my sister's house, and yeah, one day stop over there, and this chick with these with this attitude and these thick glasses answered the door. Oh, and you used to have at the time. Glasses. Oh my God, I oh, them things. See. We ain't got nothing that thick. Really, it's, these things was. 
<laughs> them things is heavy. Heavy Shit, on that girl's head. Shit, that's the way you wear contacts. I got LASIK. LASIK. Amen. Ah. Amen. I said, Lord, do it for me. You yeah. ain't right, boy. Yeah. Them things was heavy duty. But yeah. she must have been cute with them. See, I was like, hey, listen. She had she to be a nice little body. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> You ain't looking at the Coke bottle. Nah, I ain't seen you. I was like, she's over there doing the like this. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so uh, at the time when she answered the door, I thought she was one of their friends. I'm like, who's this chick he, blocking me he, from walking in? He yeah. knocks on the door. I go, hello. He said, hey, and walks in. And like, you didn't she, know who he was. C- correct. Ah. I was like, I pay mm-hmm. rent here. I know he don't live here. Who is this person? Yeah. And I was like, uh, excuse me, who are you? That's why he says I had an attitude. Uh-huh. But for me, it Rightfully was so. yeah. correct. Yes. Thank yeah. you. It was yeah. our perspective. Oh, okay. You know, so from there, you know, she had a boyfriend at the time, but I was still flirting around with her. Mm-hmm. I didn't know she was a hood rat at that point. Because <gasps> she got evicted, living with her mama. <laughs> she got letting dogs out, <laughs> biting <laughs> landlords. Hey, I didn't know what I was <laughs> dealing with. Never All this deck. I ain't know what I was doing okay. myself into. <laughs> Tell us how you nah, feel. Come on. No, nah, but uh, nah, so I used to flirt around because, yeah, I'm like, oh, what a nice little cute thing. She yeah. would flirt a little bit back. There's a benefit to having a sister. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, y'all having something? I'm, I'm on my way. Yeah. Older <laughs> sister too, to chance. Older <laughs> sister. Yeah, they all out of my league. But guess what? Oh, ain't wait, nothing Angel, out of my league. Everything you do. Mm-hmm. I'm everything I'm crazy. Two years old. Uh, everything you do to the older girl is cute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you got to look. That's, that's something yeah, little, brother. It's cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm real cute. cute. Yeah, you're yeah. cute. Keep calling okay. me cute. You're cute. Uh, okay. So that's how cute. y'all met. Yeah. Yeah. So how did y'all start dating? So I'd already moved out here. <clears throat> uh, so me and my long-term boyfriend at that time broke up right before I moved out here. But I would go home to visit. And one of the times I went home to visit, I run into his sister at Cracker Barrel. Because my family is there. Come on, there. Cracker Barrel. Come on. Uh, my family's there. <laughs> she's there, and she says to me, uh, "You, uh, my brother has been asking for your number." And I said, oh, "You was thinking about it." Come on, why yeah. she had moved? Yeah, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah. Why that girl had a boyfriend? Uh, yeah. and he, I did, it didn't matter, child. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nobody. Yeah, yeah. And I said, "Well, why didn't you give it to him?" Like I'm like, what, "Why are you just now telling me this?" And she was like, "Actually, he's going." Uh, I told him you were here. He's on his way. Now, mind you, I had on them same thick glasses. <laughs> now, because I used to, after I met him the first time, I made sure I had them contacts in any time he was there. I had to go to the bathroom at Cracker Barrel, try to pop in my contacts before uh-huh. he got there. And I told my family, I was like, listen, I said, Sonia's brother's coming. And I said, he is fine. I said, but don't y'all, I said, don't y'all say nothing. And so he walks in. He doesn't realize. They see him coming in. They were like, Angel, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. I was like, okay, okay. And they tapped him on the shoulder, and I was like, oh, <laughs> hey, what you doing here? Yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so after uh, after everybody ate, he uh, ended up asking me out on a, uh, asked to take me out yeah. before I came back to California. Yeah, I rushed up there that morning, though. I was in the bed asleep. My sister called me. I think we just had a party. They had a bachelor pair, had a party the night before. Mm-hmm. My sister called, I was like, uh, Angel's up here, and she told me to give you your number. I said, up when? We up here at Cracker Barrel. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> I went and grabbed some scope, threw it in my mouth, rushed in the rail, jumped in the car, pulled it off. I'm fixing myself in the parking lot. I walk up. Where's she at? Oh, she up. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm going to be over here. Well, I said, nice meeting your nice little family. Yeah. <laughs> like, you smelling like last night. Uh-huh. And they all grinning his face. Yeah. Hi, ah, how you doing? I was like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, so great. y'all went on the first date. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you had to come back. Yes. You were just visiting. But that first date, I already <clears throat> knew. I was like, oh, it's game over. So, like. How did you know? Like, what was the first date? What did he do that made you feel you like You were like this. <laughs> you were like no, this. No, she was. I, I, mean, I, told, I, I uh-huh. feel like I've told Tab this. So, we went out to you eat. He took me to the movies. <laughs> and then we had went back to his place. We were watching. Uh, Underworld. Underworld, thank you. <laughs> and so he had shown me some stuff he had made like in shot class or something, a wood burning thing. Yeah. Oh. And I knew his first so name. Good hands with his hands on. Hand. Hey, good with my hands. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you see yeah. these hands right here? Yeah. <laughs> and I knew his name obviously was Marcus. I knew his last name was Tanksley. But he showed me something with his initials that said M A T. And I said, what's that A stand for? And he was like, Anthony. Now he didn't know this. When I was younger, I've very clearly, God told me my husband's name. 
And I used to write it in my um, fictional writing for like essays. Like anytime we would have to write some sort of like um, short story, mm-hmm. I would always write Angel and her husband, Marcus, Anthony, da 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 Really? Yes. No, you never told me this story. Oh, wow. yeah. That's, like, that's cool. I had written that since, like, yeah, I was 12. I had many examples to the point my best friend Eric. Do you still have some of them? No, I don't know oh. what my mom. I, I had them. I had some. I, had some I don't know if I ever got a chance to show you. <clears throat> no, no, I probably threw it away if Uh-oh. I found it somewhere. Else. Wow. Well, Lord help wow. us. But my I, mother, I, I, I had cleaning, kept, man. I, I clean and. Yeah. I think my mother had <laughs> had some of it in her storage, like some of my stuff from seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade. Mark so soon, Anthony. soon as he said his name, I was like, oh, but I didn't say anything to him. Yeah, but you. But I was like, oh, is this it? I was like, this is it. And I called my best friend the next day. I said, girl, guess what his middle name is? She said, you better not say Anthony. I said, Marcus Anthony. She was like, I just got to chill. It was insane. So I knew after that. I said, well, okay, well, all right. Well, we'll just, yo, I know where this is going to end. When it gets there, I have no idea. But I was like, I know where this is going to end. But So, mm. that's a great story. (laughs) It's a beautiful story. Yeah, so you know the, the cloud just covered up the sun. <laughs> 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 so did y'all did y'all Netflix and chill, or did y'all just Want Netflix? Not that first night. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, she was not for lack of trying. <laughs> but, hey, you know, it, when, <laughs> since you had already knew what it was, I already know what it was. When you hold out, they get more attracted to you. So yeah. I said, you know what? Mm-hmm. Let me play my cards right. You know, I'm just going, I'll show a little lip action, give a little kiss. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let her know, hey, you, you missing out, but hey, I'm going to yeah. let you miss out. Let you think about it. Ooh. Plant the seeds. You just plant the seeds and let it Look germinate. Look at how she smiles. <laughs> <laughs> you let them seeds germinate. You know what I mean? So, you always <laughs> smile. That's when she knew, like, because mm-hmm. she had this vision, yeah. you know, with foresight on it. So, you saying you knew right there that this was. I knew that was my last first day. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I was like, this is. I was like, it's it. That's confirmation. Like, yeah. if you mm-hmm. had this for years. Mm-hmm. But when did you know that Angel was your wife? Uh, for me, <clears throat> it took a little time. Okay. Um, because I never, this is like the longest, most serious thing I'd ever done. I just dated around and never did anything serious. And then I looked at my environment. I was like, oh, you know, at the time, I was like, this, might, this could end at any time. Ain't no time. I ain't going to let this girl break my heart. <laughs> but then uh, it was... It was one of those times because anytime, because it was long distance, uh-huh. so anytime we would get together, it was like a powder keg. Like it was just arguing, like oh. just because we was in intense emotion, both directions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was just like we were mad at each, each other, other, loving each yes. other. Yeah, because it was just like all this tension built up. Yeah. We ain't seen each other in a long time. So anything could make us googly eyed, anything could make us explode. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it, I realized after so many visits of that, I would have normally walked away like I because I didn't argue back in the day. It was like I ain't gonna argue. Argue <laughs> yeah. for what? For what? <laughs> hey, no, but I can. Yeah. I see you. Nice, nice talking to you. Nice yeah. knowing you. I'm gonna move on. And I realized when I didn't go nowhere after, and I had never been as mad at anybody as I would get at her. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, the fact that she's she can make me this mad and I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I ain't going nowhere. Mm. <laughs> oh. And she still be pissing me off. And how long was it that y'all oh, dated? Oh, we dated. <clears throat> we dated for two years, got two. engaged at the end of those two years, married okay. yeah. almost a year into our engagement. Okay, so three years total before yeah. y'all got married. Because mm-hmm. okay. I made it very clear once we became like official, because we didn't become like monogamous as you and I until if we, we started dating the summer of 2004, we didn't become monogamous until December of 2004 because it was just a bunch of long distance. And I was like, I don't want to hold you to that. Like, that's just, for me, it felt silly. I'm like, you're young. <coughs> when we see each other, let's kick it. But if uh, you're doing your own mm, thing. That's very mature. I was just like, cause I didn't want You wanna... was all right with that? Yeah. So you was all right if she was doing her own thing too? I think Ooh, she I was. was coming <laughs> <coming up. laughs> I think she was. That's very mature. And, and that lasted, yeah. you know, that like, cause I was like, and she all the way out there in California. I'm a whole country boy. What's she out there doing? Yeah. I don't know about all And that lasted for a while. Yeah. Like, again, I saw the environment <laughs> that I was in because that affects you. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's, it's good. I don't know about all this, but we're going to see. I'm going to ride it out and see. So then eventually I came around to, okay, no, this is, I'm for real. Yeah. 
Yeah. But I told him as soon as we actually became like boyfriend and girlfriend, I said, I want you to understand. I'm actually a terrible girlfriend, but I know I would be a good wife. So as mm-hmm. soon as I realize that's not what you are, like if there's something changes and that's not what you are, we're going to have to cut this mm-hmm. immediately. I also said that because in his family, I saw that they would boyfriend, girlfriend, <laughs> 7, 10, 11, 12 <laughs> years. And I said, oh, no. Oh. I said, who can't do that is me. I was like, it might work out for everybody else. Mm-hmm. I said, I can't do that. So marriage I, I got, wasn't a big thing I, in your family. I got a question because you just, you just hit me with some stuff. Yeah, I want to hear that like, girl, bad girlfriend, good wife. Yeah, I, I, I go never heard it too. like that. You what? know what? Angel has a... It, I, I, it, I talked to Angel a few times and she be hitting me with these bars. <laughs> <laughs> What's a terrible girlfriend? I, I, I just want you to, and I'm asking, uh-huh. not, not for them, for me. Yeah, like, I want to hear it too. Because I, I got an idea. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I think that sums up a lot of what uh, me and Tab over the over the years with our with the people, the fan base and everything, <laughs> where we'd be talking about the difference between our marriage and others, other people's marriages. And mm-hmm. I think that you, just go ahead. Just get, tell me what's a bad girlfriend, so, a terrible girlfriend. I, so <clears throat> I feel like with, when you are a wife, there's like kind of an agreement of how we ride together. How one, I'm going to try to pour into your purpose and how one, you're going to try to pour into my purpose and the mm-hmm. type of sacrifices that we are willing <clears throat> to make for each other. like. There's a full buy-in. I'm going for broke for you. Like, so if this don't work out, there will be devastation. There's no I didn't held back something so that I can save myself if this tumbles. Like I'm falling fully. I would do that as a girlfriend and then have the expectation of the guy to be that same way, where that shouldn't be the case because we are not there, we have no legal things together. We don't like. While there should be a level of commitment, I shouldn't be holding you as if your life should be dedicated to me. To me. Mm. And I could not, for me, it was hard for me to like shift to that. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I would be like, no, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to dedicate. And I'm like, I realized after attempts at trying to be just a girlfriend that I was like, I can't do that. I don't, I'm not good, good at like back. holding back. a part of me back mm. to be like, if this doesn't work out, <clears throat> this, you know, while we might not be cool or whatever, I know that I didn't just waste myself away at you. No, I'm going to be the wasted <coughs> <Yeah>. myself. <laughs> it's it's uh, the conversation I have with my daughters mm-hmm. that um, I'm glad that we having this conversation that I know I'm going to have with my son. Mm-hmm. I've had that conversation with my daughters and trying to get them to understand the difference between marriage and dating <coughs> and the importance of recognizing growth and change in a new relationship. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm happy to hear you say that. Oh, and, yeah. and I'm happy that people get to hear it. Like, mm-hmm. it's important. They always asking about what, what, how can I have a successful marriage? And I think if you're mature enough to See it like that, mm-hmm. and mature enough to do what y'all did, because I wouldn't. I ain't had that kind of maturity. What you mean? Tab ain't gonna, no, you can't, <laughs> there's no non. You can't date nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my way. But how old were y'all during that we time? We were young. Uh, we started dating in 2023 or 2024. 2020. No, oh. 24. So I was 24. He was okay. 22. So y'all yeah. were a little bit older. We were 19. Yeah, but even I had but, again. I, I'm on my way. <laughs> but no, I uh, I, sp- I did a lot of growing in this relationship. Like yeah. even the dating part, there is a lot of growth. I wasn't the same. By Absolutely. the time we got engaged, I wasn't the same dude. She started dating. Like yeah. the amount of growth was it. I did a lot of growth. I mean, she yeah. did too. But yeah. I think I did a whole lot more growing than she did. Yeah. What you just explained is, I never heard it that way. Mm-hmm. But now it makes sense what my daddy used to always try to explain to me. Mm. Um, he should have said that. <laughs> but he would just always say, until you're married, they're just your friend. Mm-hmm. Yes. Just your friend. He, he was like, yeah. if you're not engaged or married, that's your friend. Yeah. They don't owe you nothing and you don't owe them nothing. Mm-hmm. Correct. Ain't no need to put a title on it. That's your friend. Yeah. And so I, I used to be like, no, nah, that's my boyfriend. He said, he's a boy, but he's your friend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, you, don't, you, you don't owe him nothing. Yeah. Like, 
it, you can court. And as he, he don't say. owe you nothing. Yeah, vice and that, versa. That, yeah. And that's what I'm telling. That's the that's more mm-hmm. important yeah. for me as a father to my girls mm-hmm. is that they understand that. Because I think <clears throat> it's not unfamiliar for me <clears throat> that you think like that. Uh-huh. It's hearing it articulated in the way. Mm-hmm. Right. So I'm t- I want my I know that my girls will buy in. Most women yeah. going to give you, going to buy all the way in. That's not, we're not going to sit here and act like we don't know that. Yeah. Right? yeah. But, but that's the, choice. She, yeah. She's a terrible girl. When, when the time comes, she's yeah. going to be a great wife. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. she wants all of that already at 23. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I, like, girl, really. He's sick on that. Yeah. I think, I think both of my <clears throat> girls will be great wives. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I think they need to grow. I think they need to be mm-hmm. learn the selfish side of it and how you I think the the best way to get them to understand that is to have understanding that on the other end, he doesn't owe you anything. Yeah. He's your friend. Yeah. And he's gonna grow, he's gonna change. And don't put titles on it because are you doing to setting yourself up for failure? Mm-hmm. In my opinion. That's just yeah. <clears throat> the there is a respect. Yes. Yeah, right. I want yeah. us to be clear. I don't want nobody to think we saying just be out here. Just out here, right. out here nah, you know, in the garden too, like that. Yes, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But you should, if you're dating, be respectful mm-hmm. and have honest conversations. That's the one thing I asked <clears throat> of him was just honesty. Like, yeah. I'll I'll have to weed through how I'm going to respond to it. But if you can at least give me that, you're not setting me up to for the okie doke. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. If I'm being honest with you and letting you know, <laughs> if you thought that this was just going to be a, a fun time, I'm not the fun time girl. Like uh, that period where we were just talking. <clears throat> okay. That one, that was me acting. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was the first time I'd ever been that mature, as you call it. <laughs> I was like, you know, you can see other people. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. But that's what she uh-huh. saying? I was like, if I don't want him to see nobody. And I, listen, I even yeah. tried to see somebody out here. And I was just like. I am not a bi. I'm not. I was like, oh, I'm gonna do some bi coastal pimping. I never. I've always been a one woman type of chick. Yeah. And I was like, if I just distract myself, I ain't got to worry about him. I was like, girl, that's not even in your nature. Yeah. You're not. I know women that are actually really good at it. Mm-hmm. It is not a skill set that the Lord gave me. Same. So I was like, let me at least be honest with yeah. him, so he's not like, <laughs> like when it came time when he was just like, yeah, no, let's. Just be you and I. I was like, okay, well, let me tell you what comes with a you and I. Mm-hmm. I can't be with you if we are not headed towards this. And if yeah. you ever realize that you don't want that, just tell me. Yeah. And then I can at least have the freedom to make a choice knowing, you know, that you've shown me your cards. Yeah. You know? But see, with what me. July 3rd, I'm a cancer. Hmm. And so with me, without even being told or explained the whole, <clears throat> uh, there's no obligation. I feel like I was like a lot of dudes like, oh, I know that. I ain't no obligation. So that's going into it. I was like, what do you mean obligation? Like, I ain't, I'm, I'm free. I'm me. Like, yeah. I said, my parents is married. I seen marriage. This ain't that. Yeah. So, like I said, it was just a lot of growth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, how did you propose? <laughs> how did you, yeah, how did you, what, what was the, what was the thing? Do you remember, like, I know with me, right? Mm-hmm. It was a moment where I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna propose this one. I'm, I'm getting like we get married. Mm-hmm. I'm marrying this woman. Like this is what we doing, right? And I are that I wanted to. Do you yeah. remember that moment? Uh, it was a conversation I had. I do remember that moment. It was a conversation I had with my dad, and he said, uh, you know, at the time it was like, you know, she had all these restrictions, but I was like, man, I'm getting married when I my, my time clock say no earlier than 27. <laughs> I ain't even proposing until then. So marriage might come 28, 29. And me and him was talking one day and he was said, uh, in so many words, he was like, you, the type of woman you want to marry is because you had a good mother, she's going to remind you of your mother. Mm-hmm. He was like, I'm, <clears throat> I'm with your mama and we've been together so long because she reminds me of my mom. Mm-hmm. He said, and what I mean by that is one day your mom's going to die you want to be with somebody that you can see holding you during that time. Mm. And I was like, so that's when a lot of the fun and games is like, well, shoot. Mm. Like, <laughs> like SD. So that, that was the clicking moment of, all right, that was some wisdom he just threw at me that I wasn't expecting because I just stopped over here to grab something. And I was like, oh, this is serious, serious. So that's when I realized, okay, I'm going to marry this woman. 
Oh, and it's going to happen not soon. So then, so then we, uh, we, I'd already decided to move to California because this is, I'd already made the decision. Okay. I'm going to move out here to California with you. This conversation was like, we had already decided that before this conversation. So it was just like, all right, I can, I can move out there for a little bit. That ain't no problem. But then when I, after that conversation, I realized, okay, she, uh, her biggest thing is she didn't want to, she didn't mind living uh, with someone that's not her husband. However, that wasn't a desire for her. So I already decided. You didn't want to shack. shack. I did. She didn't want to do no shacking. But you can't afford but, not okay. to shack. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, we uh, shacking. Uh, or be in a shack. Right. So, uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, we got we to gotta do one or the other. Yeah, one or the other. So I decided I was going to propose to her the uh, weekend before. Oh, I moved, uh-huh. and that's what I did. Mm-hmm. Was you scared? That she was uh, I, knew no. <laughs> I knew she wasn't gonna say no. Okay. Especially after I found out that she had already been expecting it a couple of times and it didn't happen. Oh my god! Because I, I was out here for grad school, so uh, after I, so he came out. My whole family came out. I'm talking about friends flew out for my master's graduation. So I was like. Perfect timing. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> Make sure my nails are done. <laughs> he got me this gift, and I was—it was a—it was tall, and I was like, "Why would he put a ring, a ring in this tall box?" <laughs> this is very oh, confusing. Yes. And out comes this box, this beautiful glass vase. But I'm gonna tell you, it was the ugliest thing I had ever seen that day because it wasn't a ring. Right. So he pulls it out, and I was like, "Oh." No. Let me tell you how I was. <laughs> So, again, Did you know she was expecting what no. she was thinking? Oh, okay. <laughs> so we sitting there at this graduation. She, it's a couple of guys that she goes to uh, grad school with. One of them gave her a gift. She's all excited about this yeah. gift. Oh, thank you. Guys. She's all excited about everybody's gift. I give her mine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I spent, look, I spent money. It yeah. was expensive. We still got that glass face. It had made it through all these years. Like, yes. yes. I said, how, first of all, I ain't like dude either. I couldn't yeah. stand him. <laughs> how you gonna get all excited about his old punk? All right, so I'm trying to wash my mouth on here. About his old punk gift, you can't. Yeah. What is up with that? Well, now I just thought, you know, she didn't tell me at the time that she thought it was a ring. Yeah. I don't think she told me until like years after we was married. <laughs> I was just like, wow. I was like, oh, is that what you, oh, this is beautiful. So, wait, when you did do how, how set the scene. Um, oh, so she came in town. She was visiting, or she—I was moving that week. No, no, you were visiting. It was New she Side was, Day. Yeah, she came in town to visit, and usually she would come and stay either where I was staying, or by then I had moved out of where I was staying. And I was like, I'll just be at my parents' house until I move. Um, and usually she just comes stay at my parents' house with me. But this time I was like, well, let's just get a hotel room or whatever. No, you didn't. You said we gonna stay at my cousin's house. Oh yeah, house. my cousin's house. <laughs> And then uh, his, it was too much going on at, his, his, at my cousin's house, so I ended up getting a hotel room. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, you know, we had been a man since we seen each other. Like we about to get it in, so go, you know, go on, hand yourself, take a shower. <laughs> so, <laughs> so while she was in the shower, I changed. I had this suit. Uh, this boy, uh, I had no, suit no this you man. you had went and showered. I was I was already oh, was in the room. room. Oh, oh yeah, she was in the room the right here, so I went. Oh, I, no, I'd already showered. I uh, went into the bathroom, <laughs> turned everything on like I was taking a shower, and I had this suit in there. Oh. And I ended up putting on this uh, white suit, so when I came out... It was out, a white linen suit. I proposed oh. to him. Oh. I didn't hear nothing he had said. As soon as he came out, I was like... Because he had accidentally <laughs> slipped once. He had said... I, that you had said something about a white linen suit. And you were like, I know why I'm... He was like... I know what I'm gonna use this suit. It was something you had said that like made me go. Girl, you yeah. were. Right, she was listening. I'm looking for every word. Let me tell you what. what, 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 what that is. suit probably didn't have nothing to do with that proposal no, at the no. time. Whatever. Just, but I knew as soon as I saw it, I said. <laughs> I, I don't even think I heard him ask. She me. didn't say yes until the next day. I said you never said yes or no. But I, I, I had the ring on. I was like, we're getting married. I'm getting married. Yeah, you you know what I love about that. What I love about that is how how eager you were. 
<laughs> the excite, like you know what I mean, yeah. like like I love that. She was like, "Hey, I want to marry this man. Oh, I want to marry this." Man. <laughs> yes, I was like, but "Where you also was ready for the next level of being a great wife." Yeah. Yes, if you, mm-hmm. if you knew that, okay, yeah. I'm not good at this girlfriend thing, but he about to get the best of me now. Correct, right? So that's yeah. a, that's a great thing. So yeah. how long? The thing is, she had already been a bad <laughs> girlfriend to some other dude. <laughs> Meaning she was already acting like a goddamn wife. She was running about getting this husband material. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> she ready to give you everything. Everything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So y'all get married. <clears throat> How long were y'all married before y'all had children? The first child. It didn't feel long enough. It was barely a year. Uh, no, no, no. We had been married for two years before we had little Marcus. Oh, we no, got no. pregnant right yeah, after yeah, yeah. a year. Okay. And we had just thought... I, I had always, I'm very traditional. I wanted to get married young. I wanted to have kids young. Mm. Life did not, well, some people would still say I was young, but that's not what I meant by young. I wanted to have, I wanted to be a mother by like 22, you know, mm. wife by 21. Really? I wanted to. Get it out of the way. Yeah, get it out of the that's way. That's church talking right there. Mm. But no, but not just that. I just, I, I, that was also kind of what the culture that I was around mm-hmm. too. So mm-hmm. it felt like. Lord, girl, you ain't never gonna get married. You ain't never gonna have kids. But and how old were you when you did? I got married at twenty seven. Had my first child at twenty nine. Now you acted like you was uh, yeah, I'm forty nine. Like yeah. I was yeah. sixty five. Yeah. 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 But no. But once we had gotten married yeah. and we were finally kind of getting the rope, getting the hang of all of it, I was like, you know what? I'm actually fine if I, you know, I want to be done with having kids by thirty five. But I ain't actually got to start yet. And I think the day I, the day before I thought that. <laughs> no, not the day before. The, I thought that the day before I found out I was pregnant. Wow. I was telling her she was pregnant. He kept for about saying, a week or two. You could just feel it. It was. I, I was like, something's <laughs> off. I was like, she was like, what you mean? I said, because I feel concerned and worried about you all the time. Mm. Which more than more than usual. Like mm. I feel like I need to protect you more than usual. I was like, something. I thought you pregnant. No, I ain't no. I was she, like, you crazy. She took a pregnancy test to prove me wrong. <laughs> and, and you proved them right. <laughs> Correct. Because wow. I was on birth control. Mm. I mean, I was not great at it mm-hmm. at all. Not a great girlfriend, not a great birth control. Mm-hmm. Come on. I'm Got not it. good at those yeah. things. Yeah. But it, it had worked. Because girlfriends say birth control. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. You're just not good at it. I was not good at it. But in it. It lasted for I don't know how many years of like, well, I'm doing it well enough because I'm not I have not been pregnant by this man. Mm-hmm. And sure enough, I went. It was uh, actually on our a friend Wendell, who's now passed his birthday. Me and him went out for breakfast. And then I said, you know, what? I got to go pee. Actually, I said, Marcus, want me to take a pregnancy test? He think I'm pregnant. I said, so I'm going to take one so I can shut him up. Came out the bathroom looking great. <laughs> I went, I had a pee so bad. I went to CVS to buy the uh, drug test out in Van Nuys. Come on, drug test. Uh, 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 sorry, pregnancy test. Sorry, drug store. Get the pregnancy yeah. test. CVS's bathroom ain't working. And now I'm about to pee on myself. I said, mm. Lord, I bought it. I run across the uh, parking lot to Vons. Vons or Johns, whichever one would be the yeah. one that is looked toe down. Mm-hmm. Johns. Johns. Did y'all even see the. We were we in uh, we Van Nuys. No Van Nuys, <laughs> yes, we were in I Van Nuys. I'm so sorry, John. <laughs> so, no so, Pocata <laughs> in Sherman Way, where oh, okay. all the good sex workers mm-hmm. you get their Johns at as well. Yeah. So, yeah. I go into that, I rush into that bathroom. I pee on the stick. I set the stick down. I get the toilet paper. Before I could even wipe myself, that thing was like, you know, you got a baby coming. I screamed so loud. I said, whose piss was in this toilet? (laughs) Then it shot up and hit the stick. I was, I mean, I know they can hear me in that produce section. I was screaming. And then I, um, I said, this can't be right. This can't be right. This is somebody else's piss. Something else didn't happen. Somebody didn't put this test back. So then I go to a clinic because they got all the clinics in Van Nuys. So you didn't tell them about it? Did I, I'm trying to think if I went to, I think I went to the clinic first. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I was like, I, t- I say to the woman, I need a pregnancy test. She's like, okay, this one, they have you pee in a little cup and then they stick the thing in there. And so I, they have me pee in a cup, she sticks the thing in there and she was like, all right, how many lines you see? And I said, you know I see two. You know I see two lines. So I called him and I was like, I'm pregnant. And he was like, well, what you want to do? I said, nigga, we are not kids. What you mean what we going to do? We are oh, bad. What you, I'm a kid in right now. All right. 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 I got my little nine to five. Yes. Family. And we sound stupid. We had just bought a house. Yeah, we was in our house. Oh. 
She she was in, she in was LA. Making, yes, we she bought was making, house. She was yes. making good money on ER. Hey, y'all <laughs> doing, <laughs> you were working on the show. Yes, I, I was driving an Audi. Y'all was doing real good. <laughs> but we were acting like we were teenagers <laughs> in in like a freshman in high school talking yeah. about what. Oh God, yeah. we gotta. We were fully realized grown ass people. But so you mad. Thought, <laughs> yeah. We were so mad at our parents, especially my mom and dad. When when they laughed, when we took the first of all, they was happy, but they laughed because we were scared. They could not stop laughing at us. Oh. I was so mad at them. Oh His mama really made me cry because she said, "I oh, guess y'all gonna have to move back to Kentucky." I called mom. <laughs> I said, "I don't want. I don't want to go back." <laughs> but that's how they think. Oh, yeah. yeah. They were like, oh, you have a baby? Yeah. You were breaking grandkids over here. Uh, is what you're about to do. Yeah, we look back now like, y'all was stupid. Oh, yeah. The yes. way we panicked. Saving accounts just stacked. Like, yes. we was eating out every night. <laughs> we were way more prepared than what we thought we were, yeah. but it didn't feel like it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It just felt like. This is not, we don't know what we're doing. And we didn't, we uh-huh. don't know what we're they doing. They don't know parents know what they know. But it looked like we planned it. Yeah. Oh, they got married, they bought mm-hmm. a house, and now they're going to have a kid. No. Yeah, it just happened that way. Yeah. So, yeah. How did having a child change your marriage? Oh, my God, today. Uh, that first one, it was, uh, it was a, actually, I didn't get the wake up call until the twins. Yes. Uh, because I continued on, <clears throat> you know, being the angels got the baby. She got a job and got the baby. I got a job. I'm going to the gym. I'm doing all my regular stuff. Yes. Mm-hmm. He go to gym two hours. And I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like. And I go, I go to work, then go to the gym. So you were still, come home. Yes, you still was on Marcus time. Yeah, Correct. I come I mean, I come home, help out and everything. So how did that affect you? <clears throat> well, you know what? With one, it wasn't as bad mm-hmm. but it was irritating because <clears throat> i would be i felt like so considerate of him because his job was not a flex job i had a very flexible job so um because at that time when i wasn't working on tv i was working for my mom and i would work from home but the baby would be there with me because we mm-hmm. couldn't afford nobody's daycare mm-hmm. um so on the weekends because i'd be like that's his free time i would I wouldn't really go do anything. with If somebody invited me somewhere, no, my baby's coming. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, oh, we're going out to eat. You, you know my baby's coming as well. Mm-hmm. So he, like, if I went to work out with, at the gym, I would take the baby with me to the gym, check it into the daycare, all that mm-hmm. stuff. If I asked him to do that, it would be like I asked him to move a mountain. Yeah. Oh, you're going to make me late? To what? Like, you're yeah. not taking a class. Yeah, I had my schedule set now. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it wasn't, I didn't feel any, I wasn't really feeling resentment because also at the same <clears throat> time, that's also what I saw reflected a lot of times in the relationships of my sisters, where they were so much so the primary caregiver that their husbands kind of had way more freedom <clears throat> about their life. But when them twins came, I was yeah. like. It was after, they, they were here. Yeah. And again, I'm doing my radish, and we had, she had to say me down. I was like, I feel like I'm alone. Mm. I was like, what? <laughs> like, and I was like, what you mean? So she explained it, and that, I didn't know. Mm-hmm. It was like communication. Mm-hmm. Once she explained everything, I was like, my bad. Because he had a friend come in town. He was like, oh, I'm going to go downtown. Such and such is here. I'm going to go. Like, he didn't even think that I might have you something considering you yeah. at all. At all. Yeah. at all. And it was I had the kids, but I was just like that it was that. That was the final shot. And how old were the twins then? They were still babies. Yeah, they were babies. They were, they were babies. And like <laughs> I I breast I, my children did not take bottles. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I was their sole form of food. Mm-hmm. I was doing everything and I'm just like, yo, I'ma kill him if he don't <laughs> and so after that it was like he playing the girls' night out. For me, he was like, I'll figure it out because the, also my kids preferred me as well. All of them. Yeah. They would, Cy would deal with you on a regular basis. Yeah. But little Marcus, as easy as he was, if I left, he'd oh, cry. He would lose his mind. Mm-hmm. Like, when the times I was, time yes. yeah, the times I was with them, <clears> like, they would lose their minds. Like, until she got, I don't know, it's like they could smell her like 30 seconds from the house. Mm-hmm. They would all of a sudden stop. That's how I knew she was close. Mm. But before then, they'd just be screaming and crying the whole time. Wasn't nothing I could do to calm them down. They would yeah. just be. Uh, but yeah, after that conversation, I was like, oh, God, like I didn't know. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, I ain't blaming you. You should have said something. I should have <laughs> yeah. I I known too. I didn't know. So, but that, that was so like. So you took the, it. it- 
It just took one time and you adjusted. It won't no argument. It won't mm-hmm. no. No, no, because I feel bad. Like I feel bad that I didn't see it. I didn't feel bad that I didn't know. I didn't feel bad necessarily for not knowing it, but I feel bad for not seeing what I was doing and mm-hmm. not recognizing everything that she was doing. I think he would because I when I tell you I love being a mother. Like I be all up yeah. in the, I, when they babies too. I love them too. I ain't gonna lie. I was doing all the things. <clears throat> oh, we gonna do this. We gonna go to this little class. We gonna do all. So like. <laughs> I don't know if he thought, uh, subconsciously, he thought, well, Angel is loving doing this. She wants to do it. Yeah, she wants to do all this. And yes, I did. But also, I was like, I need breaks, too. I need to be able to be with my homegirls sometimes. If they invite me to something, I don't want to always be like, well, you know, all three of my kids got to come because I don't know what he's going to be doing. So he adjusted very quickly. It's night and day. The way he is right now with the four boys versus what it was before we had that conversation, it's like two different. Yeah. I'm dealing with two different people. Yeah, mm-hmm. but black is getting in on the conversation. Mm-hmm. With somebody <laughs> at the door. Okay. Like, Why didn't you know? Right, fool? right, right. <laughs> oh, but no, I I, I get it because when it, choice was completely different because we were so young. But with Quest, he was a police officer, mm-hmm. and so my and Quest never slept through the night until he was 16 months. Mm-hmm. And so, and I breastfed. He didn't do bottles, mm-hmm. and so my thought was. He got a stressful job. Right. I when And when he do got downtime, I need him to be able to go play basketball. That's when he used to play basketball. Mm-hmm. And I really didn't want to bother him. Right. And I also enjoyed like spending all the time, but internally, I was like falling apart. Yeah. Right? I was like sleep deprived. I also was going back to work. Right? Yeah. So we had my mother-in-law at that time. She, would, she was living with us, and so she was helping take care of him. And, but even on my, I work, God just blessed us in a way. My job was five minutes from my house. Oh, beautiful. Mm. 15 minute breaks, I would come home and nurse him. Oh, wow. Go back to work. Lunch, I'm coming home and nurse him. You gotta him. nurse him on my time. Go back to work, mm-hmm. right? I would come home. If my mother in law sometimes would cook, if she didn't cook, I would cook. Like, it's just, sometimes you be on autopilot right. in your mind as a wife, you wanna do these things. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you'll get to a place where you burn out. Yeah. I had, I think I started having like resentment because mm-hmm. we went through like a a, a, a phase like later mm-hmm. where I just felt like instead of me sitting him down and trying <clears> to talk to him, and I don't know if somebody else might need to, to hear this, I assume he should just know. Yes. And yes. that's why I got angry, mm-hmm. right? So it was mm-hmm. like, I shouldn't have to tell you. Can't you see me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where I should have just been like, I, I think maybe I did after some time, but arguments had already happened. Yeah. Right? So I'm, to, I wanted to say that because I think it's a beautiful thing that you were able to sit him down and have the conversation, but that you actually it was, took it, you know? I think it was the way she calmly approached me. Yeah. Like, if she approached me, like, mm-hmm. with an attitude, it would have just been an argument and yeah. back and forth and all that, but she was just like, okay, look. Yeah. And she explained it, and I was just like, my bad, I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. But you didn't let uh, it go too far. No, like, I mean, I listen. No, it, it was five, it was oh, five yeah. years, <laughs> you know, like, of my own yeah. twins. So no, they, the little Marcus was five by the time I had the twins. Yeah. So but I mean, for the twins, you 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 were uh, like, oh, we can't do this. Yeah, because yeah. it was they like were, they were like three, four months. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was so outnumbered. So I got one child that I'm dealing with all of his school stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm the one that the teachers call. I'm volunteering at the school mm-hmm. and I'm working and I'm taking care of these twins. Yeah. If I have an audition. I'm the one racking my brain on who can watch the kids. How can I get to the bus stop? How can I get across Santa Monica? Get back. You know, I'm doing and all of them. Losing yeah. our friend the day the twins was the day before the twins was born, he would have been a big help too. Yes, oh. he was. All, he was like the third parent. Yeah, I really was. Yeah. So it was really like I don't even have like. So I think that's probably what got coasted me through the when we had little Marcus because that was his godson. Mm-hmm. So if mm-hmm. ever I needed, if I really had to do something, he'd be like, "Oh, bring him over here. Me, I'll take him out to eat." Da 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 da. So with him gone and it was just me and I was just, I don't think I had the energy to argue with him. It was really just like, come on, man. Yeah. Like, please just tap, <laughs> tap in a couple of times. Please yeah. let me get out the ring for a second because they busted me in my head. Yeah. So it, I definitely, I don't know if I thought his response was going to be what it was, but I'm grateful that it was and that he wasn't like. Just ask to go somewhere. Like, if yeah. he acknowledged, like, oh, you right. Yeah. I do just be doing whatever I want to do. Yeah. Do you think you being absent-minded has something to do with her career? And <clears throat> I know with me, with Tab, right? Mm. Um, 
Angel said something about the flexibility, mm-hmm. right? The consistency. I had consistency in my in my job, um, and Tad would always get a job if <clears throat> gig. She plenty of jobs, right? Mm-hmm. But <clears throat> how did you how did you handle being married to someone who is in the entertainment industry or had ambitions to do that with and and needed flexibility with the schedule and could take their baby, could take the baby mm-hmm. to an audition, could take the kids. Oh, right, mm-hmm. you get what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah. always, everything you describe. Was yeah, my yeah, you done been through it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was so. Angel didn't book her first like big thing until we were literally driving my stuff to California. So she wasn't even in technically in the industry yet when we first got married when or we first, started when we f- first started dating mm-hmm. and engaged. Um, so. On the flip side of that, however, seeing her in her career, it was just like, I would see her go to, it, I think it did have a little something to do, do with it, because I would see her go to work, she would be having fun. Like, the times I did go on set, there's a bunch of laughing, and you know, oh, I can take the baby, oh, you know, so-and-so had the baby, and I'm going to work, and I'm hating it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I didn't see it as a bur- as much of a, a burden, burden for her as it would have been for me. I'm of, taking naps in my train. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. she's like, yeah. calling me on, yeah. calling me on, like, oh, yeah, I'll call you back after my little nap. <laughs> This yeah. is free kids. Did, did you ever look at it like that ain't a real job? <clears throat> no, I never looked at it as that. Oh, okay. It was just I just realized like no, she worked her way up to their career. That's where she's okay. at. I'm still working my way up. Uh, never looked at it as that at all. Okay. But it was at the same time. It's like, but you see what I'm doing and you see what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Like relax. Yeah. You can take a nap. Yeah. If I take a nap, somebody gonna die. Yeah. Or I'm gonna get sucked into a machine. <laughs> Oh, I'm, yeah, yeah. I, I'm drunk. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so that that was I did see her career, and it was it's just a lot more relaxed mm-hmm. than you know what I was doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, all of that is like very familiar. He said we did I, it. I, I just had never booked a big job. No, it was a bunch of little. little <laughs> well, most of my jobs little, was little. Yeah, most of them was you little. Know, yeah, little hit hit or miss, but yeah. they would be job. They might be big in requiring my time. Yeah, yeah. okay. The Come pay on. would be small. Yeah, even the, even the yeah. phone call would be different. Like yeah. she she answer the phone. I answer the phone. Hello. Yeah, I gotta go to this meeting. All right, here let me let me call you right back. She answer the phone. <laughs> Hey, babe. Hold on, y'all. Here I come. What you doing? Uh-huh. How we just over here talking like... Because you be happy that you <laughs> doing what you love. Uh-huh. Yeah. I yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Like, that's one thing. Angel's career, everything she does has always yeah. been involved around what she loved. Yeah. I can't... I've never had that, that <laughs> privilege. Mm-hmm. Of, yeah. Like, Angel, since she was a little girl, has always known what she wanted to do. Same. That is a privilege. Most people yeah. don't get that. A majority of the people don't know that. Mm-hmm. If you ask them right now, what is it that you truly want to do in life? I ain't gonna be able to answer that. She'd be like, act. Yeah. Since she saw Rudy, okay. act. I can do that. That's my exact <laughs> story, girl. I said, yeah. I wanna do, what, what's that little girl doing? That's yeah. me. I wanna do that. <laughs> Same thing. I told my mom, I said, I wanna ring the doorbell next. Cause Peter didn't talk and I didn't like that. <laughs> and I said, I wanna come I'm in fix and say tongue, some stuff. Mm-hmm. See, you had yeah. a better storyline at it. I just wanted to be her twin <clears throat> sister, uh, oh. Ruby. Oh, Ruby and Ruby. Rudy and Ruby. Yeah, Rudy. But I don't know how that was gonna work since they had already established the house. Yeah, yeah. But well, listen, they started off with Pokey. <laughs> they surely <laughs> did. They had us in. Yeah, they they could have yeah, yeah, brought you in. Throw me enough. <laughs> that would have made it real. Yeah. No, that would have been Doctor Hospital. Yeah, Doctor Hospital. Yeah, Doctor Hospital. Yeah, Street. Yeah, yeah. Street. I love it so. We got a we got a lot in common in that. In that. Then uh, you know, with somebody who wants to get in that industry, but also having that kind of attitude towards it. Yeah, yeah. It was Angel the type that thought every next gig was the every one. Every one she booked. Or was it? Was it? What did she? Was it like I had this audition today? To, what we about to blow up? Angel has that thought <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. Yep. The phone call comes yeah. through. And that's, uh, yeah. Has she, has, she, has, she ever got, has she ever got <laughs> upset with you because you couldn't situation. consistently match her energy? Absolutely. Like, like <laughs> after years of like, you, she like, I did this gig today. And I'm telling you, I got it. And this is what's going to happen. And you be like, good, babe. What you... <laughs> Like, oh, you don't believe me. Oh, you don't believe in me. See, like, see, wait, yeah. We've been doing this for years. Yeah, my kids yeah. now. You don't <laughs> see, 
Nah, nah, so, so I'm not the okay. Nah, nah, right, so this right. thing is in terms it seems like she's the same way. Angel will celebrate every single step. Every yeah, step. Oh, come on. It's a blessing. Yeah. No, yeah. It's, a blessing. Yeah. it's a blessing to be able to do that. Every I'm like, what's his name? Robert Downey Jr. in uh, Tropic Thunder. I don't celebrate to the DVD commentary. <laughs> yeah, Look, I, I don't want to get up here and fall hard. I'm gonna stay right here. If I fall, it's gonna be a foot and a half. Because in the beginning, <laughs> when you are naive or you just the, the, the uh, bright-eyed <clears throat> boyfriend, mm-hmm. you can fall for that and you want to be supportive, <laughs> right? And then when you fall in love with the woman mm-hmm. and you really want to see, and you, that's something different, yeah. right? And then when you see her and you like, oh, no. Nah. My girl talented, for mm-hmm. real. This ain't like, yes. I've been to a couple of these auditions. You, you take it personal. Y'all are trash. You take it personal. My lady got talent. Yeah. yeah. So then, when you start going, you like, yeah, she going to get it. Mm-hmm. She going to get ain't it. Ain't no way she ain't going to get it. And then she don't. <laughs> don't add. Oh, he hated the industry. I, I hate it. Oh. And still hate a bunch. Yeah. Yeah. But, the but then, don't let it be one of them <laughs> where you say, now, you, you watch it. You've been a supporter. Mm-hmm. And you've been with her. And now it's, you start hearing them, well, I got to pay my dues, baby. She humbling herself. Well, that's just how it is. You know, you got to crawl before you walk. And then you like, mm-hmm, you do a lot of damn crawling. Oh, no. Them a whole lot of damn oh, dudes. Yeah. Them a whole lot of dudes. And then I'm looking, and then the industry changed, and it's, well, that's not how they do it anymore. Mm-hmm. They making y'all jump a whole lot of damn hurdles. Yeah. So I'm going to stay over here, and I'm going to stay. When you come to me, I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to dig a little deep to make it a little convincing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, but then, but then I'm going to, but see, as, and a lot of people don't, Angel, don't understand. I've had to, I've had to say this on a couple of um, stages and answer people when I'm traveling with Tab. They'll hit me, you know, some of her fans will hit me and be like, you believe it now, don't you? <clears throat> and I like, it was never an issue with me not believing mm-hmm. in my wife. Right. Right, it's that despicable industry. It's that despicable industry mm-hmm. that I had to check out on and be like, okay, you you can't concern about that. <coughs> yeah, mm-hmm. this is what I'm gonna concern about. I'm gonna go put this damn bulletproof vest on and I'm gonna go in there and long as she's smiling, ninety percent of the time she having a good time. That's and there's matters. that there is that one. Do- I look at her. I would say this. You know, it's my dog in a fight. It's worth me going to go do this because one day, man, my wife, man, so go happen for her. Mm-hmm. Had that moment, <clears throat> all right, let me go on in here. Mm-hmm. I can't keep going up and down that and up is him. and down. And I'm not built like that. I'm just, I, I'm not mm-hmm. built like that. And I'm and, it's, and when it comes to now where I'm like, no, nah, she actually good. Mm-hmm. And it ain't about who good. Mm-hmm. Now, who got the most followers? Yeah. Who got, I could go, I can get on the soapbox with this. Who, who, who? Who it's rubbed the right thing. elbows? Who slept with the right person? Yeah. Who did? Yeah, I said. Yeah. You yeah. did. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who allowed somebody to dog them out? And I'm looking at my wife and I'm, you know, I'm like, no, nah, she actually good. And then at the, on the other <coughs> end, we don't want you to be a black woman, a real mm-hmm. black woman. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. want you to do this to your hair. We want you to conform. They want, and I'm watching it and I'm like, no, nah, but that ain't how we talk. Don't do your hair like that. I start realizing, like, I'm doing more arguing with my wife about something she loves. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm I'm yeah. check out. I'm gonna come over here and just be a supporter in this way. Cause thank you. I'm she say, know how to handle it. She she okay with it. She ha- and I'm like, mm-hmm. we in the I see yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. in the industry. This man, love this man would have gotten know, so many times. fights. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, because it's been times I've been up there with her. Yeah, and I got excited. <clears throat> Didn't happen. She she made a couple of hours, maybe a day. Yeah. She she over it. By the next day, by the time she eat breakfast, to she out chilling. And you still I'm thinking still about it. it. A yes. week later. Yes. yes. Yeah. I'm you like, can't sit it. Yeah. So, so I'm like, is that that same producer that didn't pick you up? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll take no, it. No, no. Like, you know what I'm saying? I tell them, I said, you know. I get offended. I get offended. I don't know. I, 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 was, I took it real personal. Absolutely. I'm like, yeah, we'll be at gatherings or whatnot, and she'll be like, that's such and such. And all I remember is. Yeah, that's the one that didn't choose you. <laughs> this, this is me. Everything like, you didn't choose, you you chose. And then you see the movie come out. Chance. You see the commercial come out. <laughs> and I'd have been, I'd have heard my about wife. If he doing lines with me. Yeah, and I, I mean, know the lines. Line like, Wait a minute, this the thing that you was. This the thing. This is better than you. Chance. I'm like, I get, I was getting like, I'm like, you're not better than my wife. And it's not just because it's my wife. No, it ain't better than my wife. That that skipped over her. That was successful. 
I have been hired. And, this I'm, is, and with all the shade in the world, I'll let crap <laughs> get canceled because it was <laughs> whack. Talk to him. I have been hired. This is the, so the terrible thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. You're I just, right. Yeah, my it's bad. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm just like, this like, ain't good. Let me change. I have been hired for really big projects where we would, I mean, God would let me get so close. Yes. We were testing and everything. Breathe. No, Y'all I book it. Gotta get oh, the yeah. auditions, do all oh, no, that. She got I booked. booked the thing. We News then, articles. Mm-hmm. Ooh. And then get a call from my agent. So they are gonna be replacing you with such and such because they wanna go in a different direction. I was like, I can go in a different direction. She's Why? trained. Yeah. I'm like, get me. I said, I did what they wanted me to do. Now, if they yeah. want something else, why don't they give me a chance there? They're wanting to do something. That happened to me three times times where I was hired. So one thing I was like, y'all gonna give me my check though. Mm-hmm. The whole check. Mm-hmm. Because that's not my fault that y'all changed y'all mind. But he would be like, cause yeah. that I would have to get into that mind frame. I would be hurt for a second. Then I'd yeah. be, have to be like, all right, well then when is my money coming? Yeah. They cannot hold it until the end of the project. Mm-hmm. I'm done with my job apparently. Yeah. So pay me all my money. Because I know what that contract said. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's pay or play. Yeah. And, and not okay. just that. Yeah. California state employment law <clears throat> okay. says that you have to play your employee when, the, when they leave. Yeah. 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 And so I would have to go into that mode so I wouldn't have a chance to really sit in. I mean, because my feelings would be so hurt. I'd yeah. be like, God, why are you? I'd be like, why are you setting me up mm-hmm. for me to fall flat on my face? But every time I'd be like, all right. And we yeah. are. Yeah. Let me try one more time. Now I'm in over, over here enjoying yeah. this failure of the show when I yeah. shouldn't be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's people that didn't have nothing to do with that that got canceled. Yeah. But talk yeah. to the producers and the directors right. and the t- studios. Because right. they fault. Because she, she mm-hmm. wasn't on there. It's all right, though. It's right. It's all right. Because then. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> something else happened. Yes. Yeah, you right. gotta be like, I you didn't have you right. do that because I needed you to do this. Come mm-hmm. on, amen. Right. Yeah, that's, that's so, a fact. You know, that's it, that always that, happens every that time. Is, really that is true. But why are you in it? You it's, hard. It's, it's hard. hard. Yeah, it's hard. And and I just, I mean, that I know we 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 have that thing in common, and I know how we are with our wives, mm-hmm. right? So I I just I I love to be able to hear it from somebody else too. And and even now, with all the success, I still ain't forgot. I ain't lying. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I've matured a lot. But I will, will encounter these people. I still ain't forgot. I, I still, I, we meeting these people and the invitations and mm-hmm. all that stuff. There's some I, stuff you just can't even tell. Yeah, all, yeah. All, you don't even need to know. Yeah. Like the stuff that I do know. I be in. I ain't lying. Mike Jones be playing in the back of my head. Back then, <laughs> yeah, I'm down, that's what it is. And then in my head, I be like, yeah. "Hey, how you doing?" But that's scripture right there. He <laughs> said he prepared for the table <clears throat> in the presence of my enemy. Yes, and that's what I be like. I be like, I know that's gonna happen. I was like, mm-hmm. the people who, mm-hmm. who for some reason decided that instead of adjusting the problem, they would make me the scapegoat. <clears throat> Yeah. I know that you are going to allow me to do what I need to do, God, and they will see it. Yeah. It mm-hmm. happened. Yeah. Well, but if you look at the trend now with all the stuff that's coming out, with all of the abuse that was being done on sets, in studios. Yeah. God those, was protecting us. All the us. gatekeepers, the yeah. gatekeepers and all of, all of it coming out. <clears throat> and most of it is coming on the back of what the two of you are very good at, which is the social media stuff. Mm-hmm. It is fueling the outing of a lot of big mm, yeah. people. Mm-hmm. It's coming full circle. No, <laughs> it's, oh, yeah. it's happening how God yeah. intended it. Yeah. Protected yeah. you from some of the stuff that, you know, that some of these young ladies and some of these young men <clears> were subject <throat> to behind the scenes. I, I choose to look at it like that now mm-hmm. on, on yeah. this end. But Absolutely. while I was going through it, I was, yeah. I, no, it's tough while going she through, was man. going through it, yeah. like, man, y'all, boy. I don't want to have nothing to do with none of that. We took ourselves through it. They went through it and got out. It's me and you. It's like, (laughs) yeah. I get it. I like. I acknowledge like because he loves me and because you love her that like when you see us get hurt. It affects you emotionally, but I would have to be like, but I got to hurry up and get over this because I got back to to, it. Yeah, I got to get back to it. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm telling you, I never wanted. I never wanted my wife to quit. Mm-hmm. Because this is what we came here for. It was it was a sacrifice, <laughs> and I I couldn't do it. When you said earlier, when you was like, most it's a gift for y'all to know what you want to do, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I've been lost. I've been lost in that since basketball was taken away, right? The opportunity <laughs> to do. I'm like, man, what I want to do? I'm juggling around all these ideas. I want to find something that can be uh, honorable and you know make my family proud and all that. But I couldn't identify it. 
So I never wanted her to quit. But when I'm telling you, because she had, she was a light, it was always that little bit. You know, yeah. Y'all crazy. Y'all really like it's there to me. I define it as crazy. Like you got to be a little crazy mm-hmm. to make it. You got to yeah. mean you got to have yeah. a you got yeah, you, you got to have a, a little you got, crazy. Yeah, y'all yeah, are. You're, you're like crazy that. to be able. To, <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all y'all really are. It's but it's a but it's an attractive crazy. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean. So I always wanted her to do it, but boy, it was times where I just was like. I got. I don't like these people being able to do this shit to my yeah. wife. Like yeah. I want. Yeah. I want to. Like I don't. It's yeah. like somebody beating up your loved one. Yeah. And I'm supposed to be the protector, and you're like, I hate. I. I with everything in me, I hate y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 no, I, I hate it. Man. I hate it. Like I hate it. Like I hate Where's the studio mm-hmm. lie? Let me just park beside. Right. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. yeah. Like yeah. I don't think. I don't <laughs> think it would be like that, babe. If if they saw like. You know what I mean? Like, they see your it support now. system. Yeah. No, of they course. Saw, like, yeah. Of course. They see it now. Yes, they do. There's yeah. no confusion. And a lot of the industry, right. a lot of it, it has nothing to do with talent. It's all relationship based. Yeah, it's all. Yeah. They already know what that they want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Most times yeah. they already know who they want. Mm-hmm. Right. And if they can't get who they want, they're looking for something like that. Yeah. yeah. So it, it, I had to, it took a long time to learn it wasn't personal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the moment you get that, it's like you can do audition and forget about it. No, oh, absolutely. I, you walk in there, I'm going to leave it all in there, and then I'm done. If it's, they call, great. If they don't, oh, God yeah. bless them. Yeah. Sure. Oh, you know? oh, well. And it was very much so. I thank God for putting it on my heart to create content because I started creating content with my first son when mm-hmm. I was pregnant with him. That's how I became a content creator. So this is my 15-year anniversary of creating content. Oh, amazing. And I used to say to Man. my actress girlfriends all the time, I don't know why I'm doing this. I was like, mm-hmm. but I feel led to. For years, I would have a camera out. They, the, the, that was not something that actresses did, unless you take oh, yeah, an they audition. Would, they would be talking bad. I would be talking bad about you. <laughs> right. like, people yeah. would be like, actors don't do content. Oh, yeah. yeah. There was oh, so many things actors, actors didn't do. would say, actors don't do content. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, I was one of them. Yeah. When That's, Vine and all that came out, mm-hmm. My friends that started doing it who were actors, I was like, oh, they're not going to book any work. <laughs> yes, it's not going to Me, in my $15 an hour job, I am <laughs> better than them. That like, is why yeah. I am that chick angel. That yeah. lets you know, like, I didn't want Angel Lakita Moore to be associated with that chick angel. Mm. I wanted them to be two separate entities. Because <clears throat> I was just like, I still don't know why I'm doing this. And I don't really want people to know that I'm doing this because I'm a trained thespian. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And for years, I could not figure out. I was like, Lord, I don't know why you have me doing <clears throat> this. But I am so, I can clearly hear you telling me, keep picking up this camera, keep picking up this camera. And what it has been able to allow me to do is that when... We went on strike. Say went did. on strike. I said, "Oh, we were still working." Welcome back to is this going to cost an argument? <laughs> it was. I didn't have the stress. <laughs> and the same thing with there are projects that don't attract that are not attractive to me. So mm-hmm. that when my people send it, I'll be like, "No, thank you." Yeah, I can easily in a short where before it didn't. My people used to have to say because their assistants would sometimes send me an audition and then they would see it and be like, "Angel, no, you're not yeah. submitting for that." I was like, I'm going to do it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You, you show up because yeah. I can figure out a way to make this work. They were yeah. like, no, mm-hmm. this is not the project that you need to be doing. Yeah. So now, <clears throat> even though acting is still my passion, I feel like I can do the projects that actually make me feel good. I, I went against my gut this one time here recently. I'll never do it again. Mm-hmm. But uh, projects that make me feel good, projects that I feel like I can sink my teeth into instead of just taking any little scrap they want to throw at me. Yeah, Because mm-hmm. we used to take the scraps. Ah, mm-hmm. yeah. I used to take it. I'd be like... Oh, yeah, I can do this. Yeah. Because I, I, I'm i going to look crazy, but I can do it. Yeah. Because like, mm-hmm. I needed the money. I wanted to build my resume. 100%. There was a time where I didn't think about, like, oh, the future of, like, this is going to be terrible. Mm-hmm. I just thought, like, I want people to know I'm a working actress. Yeah. And they take me serious, like, oh, she can do anything. Mm-hmm. But now I be like, oh, don't even send me this. Why, yeah. why did y'all send me this? Right. Somebody, who, who sent <laughs> me this? Are y'all confused? Did yeah. y'all, y'all accept yeah. for my email address? But I'm so sorry. You had to do the work to get there. Correct. Right? Yeah. So I know we we, we running long, but sorry. just to wrap it up, okay, real quick, like, y'all both equally hate the industry or hated the industry and sometimes still do. How does it feel now? Because now y'all both is up in here. We on a podcast. On, right on a weekday. You know, how, <laughs> how did you start to work with Angel and how mm-hmm. has that been? Well, the industry that I was referring to versus what we announced, two different things. Yes. But no, 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 no. 
Entertainment mm -hmm. is one thing, right? So this is an entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. I understand y'all talking about studio, all that, but it still is a it still plays a role, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So because you also didn't have a desire to be on camera before, right? No. Right. He didn't either. But now because of how it was it. defined, I didn't. Because of now, I, I can answer that. That's real easy. If you told me, <laughs> <laughs> that's real easy. Being in front of the camera when you would say it before <laughs> came with I had to do what you guys were doing. Mm -hmm. uh, conforming, right? Uh, uh, jumping a lot of hurdles. When the goalposts keep being moved, you got to keep doing it. I'm not built like that. This one right here, this is my house. Mm -hmm. Camera going to be right there every time. That's the thing that makes it so liberating, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's a freedom in it to me where it's like, listen, when I get tired, I'd be like, hey, Tiff, hit the, I don't want to do it today. I'm, I'll cut it off. It's, it's on right? his terms. It's on my mm -hmm. terms. Yeah. And I thank you. <laughs> Both okay, of y'all for that, uh, <clears throat> because otherwise I wouldn't have grown to be so comfortable in front of. I even thank you. I remember when you was telling me, "Chad, man, you can do it, you man. I'm just like you." And I'm like, "Man, you was tripping. I'm not <laughs> doing none of this." That it is a freedom that comes with it, and <clears throat> where I feel like I can help those nineteen year olds that have ambitions, and those young couples that are going through what. We, we all got that same familiar thing mm -hmm. with, with, with marriage and, mm -hmm. and all of that where I can feel like I'm actually helping. This ain't a, I, I'm, I'm not acting. I'm not performing. This is, oh, Tank, you, you, was, you was being for real when you said, no, nah, I'll be myself on camera. Oh, I really yeah. can? Yeah, that's what made me. I really can? Yeah, mm -hmm. that was my. Like, plan. yeah, so that makes it easy for me. That, yeah. makes, it, that makes it fun. Yeah. That makes it like, okay, I'm doing something. And it also can, makes me feel like um, I'm con it, it's confirmation of uh, of what your mama said to me about um, uh, uh, when I thought she was talking about me being in the pulpit. You know, she was like do, doing something in the ministry. I was like, oh, okay, so I can mm -hmm. I can share can and minister. minister. From anyway. Yeah, I absolutely. can do. I can do. So this ain't this ain't the same to me. This ain't mm -hmm. just about entertaining. It's like okay, all right. Let me go. Let me go do. This gives me it also it also can, like helps with that purpose thing. When mm -hmm. I couldn't figure it out, I was like, okay, because I still don't understand why they still want to listen to me, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. but my only answer is this is your purpose. This is this is purpose. This gives you purpose. Yeah. yeah. So I don't look at it like what I saw y'all going through with going to stand in lines or hoping your agent call for a call yeah. back and all yeah. of that. It's two separate things. If it's entertaining <laughs> to the old people. So be it, but it ain't that for me. But you do yeah. brand deals and different yeah, things. Yeah, I do brand that, deals. Right? And um, so one thing is like, one thing that made me get on the camera more is Angel saw our audience, they liked to see the unit mm -hmm. versus just her being a mom. Looking at the analytics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. So she oh, they were like, saying it too. Yeah. They were like, where is, where is your husband yeah. at? Yeah. So, so then, then initially I was like, okay, I can come on, but I was like still a very, I'm still a very, uh, very to myself, like mm -hmm. a very private person. And uh, so Angel was like, you know, a lot of people have an on-camera character mm -hmm. that they do. Man. That way, you know, you can still be your, yourself, but then do that. And I tried it. And I'm like, I can only be me. Yeah. So then when she explained to me, like, no, you can be you. Mm -hmm. That way ain't ever going to be no surprises. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing you're going to say going to surprise anybody because they know you're getting you. And I, mm -hmm. they're getting you. And I'm like... Oh, I can do that. Mm -hmm. I can be me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why he be acting a fool during them challenges. He hey, honestly, hey, 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 hey. He don't like it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Honestly, people like, but, keep playing. Uh, I'm like, no, like, it be, it, we almost get into a fight before the camera That's what I was going to ask you. Is there ever a time working together like that, mm -hmm. that, it, that it's like, uh, like, you be like, we ain't even do this no more? Yeah, no, it's been a couple times. It was one time, actually, uh, my back was bothering me, and I was afraid oh. she was going to hurt my back. Mm -hmm. And I caught an attitude. She was like, put him to the side, like, you being mean to me. Like, I did. I said, I you, like, were being, right. you actually being real mean to me. I was mm -hmm. like, all right, but I can't do that because my back. She was like, okay. But uh, no, so a lot of times, and I know now when we do the challenges, <laughs> that's something people look forward to is me not wanting to do it yeah. and her no. being excited about it. So I'm like, no, all right, we can keep not. that doing. We yeah. can keep that going. But at the same time, it's like I, like, I, enjoy, I can do what I do because like he said, it's like purpose. And I actually told you a couple weeks ago, it's like, I feel, even if it's something that I don't fully feel like doing, it's like some people need to hear what I got to say yeah. because there are husbands out there that might be going through what I'm going through. <laughs> there are uh, sons out there that maybe wasn't raised the way I was or wives out there is like, oh, I, I, they've actually said that. Oh, I actually understand my husband better from you saying that. Mm -hmm. So a lot of it is like that purpose, like the chance of saying it. it's like, no, 
there's I'm a majority, believe it or not. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. husbands loving mm-hmm. their wives, want want to do good for their community, their family. We're the majority. Mm-hmm. It's just a lot of people with these mics are the ones that's like, oh, see, everybody's like, hey, no, no, no. That's a small community that y'all mm-hmm. looking at with these mics saying all this stupid stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm actually a majority. It's just a lot of us don't have microphones and cameras. Come on and drop the mic. Are, 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 are we afraid of them? And until no, we get no, somebody no, like us to actually yeah. talk, we don't have an understanding because we think it's defined by what they have been through. Yeah, Correct. Exactly. Yeah. Or yeah. So. the desire is not there because you really just want to be in community and do what you're doing. That's yeah. true. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's true all too. it is. Yeah. So, um, well, they were good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. We appreciate y'all like coming and sharing. Because yeah, like, people be out here wondering like, how do you work together? Like, how do you do these things? Like, mm-hmm. As husband and wife, like a dreamer with a realist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Like we, yeah. it, it, that's Kevin Melissa too. Oh, like yeah. we got dreamers dream and realists. Big. Like, like how I think it's a balance. balance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, no, it's, it's definitely a balance. It's definitely how we balance out and it ain't always easy, but we are living proof mm-hmm. that things can work out. Come on and mm-hmm. Okay. The, the dream can work out amen. in a real way. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, well, I guess we can wrap it on up. Thank yeah. you for having hey, us, Kevin Chance. I mean, for people who don't know, Okay, Tank and Adrian, you all let them know where they can find you and all the things. Um, you can find me at That Chick Angel almost on every single platform. I just started <laughs> back up my Snapchat because La La Milan told me to go and get over there. So. She told me to get on it too, and I ain't do it. I got to do it. She told me at the, at the, at the brunch. Uh, yes, I'm this is exactly it. what I'm she told it. me. So go ahead and follow me on Snapchat, <clears throat> TikTok, Instagram, mm-hmm. and That Chick Angel TV on YouTube. Uh, in case y'all ain't heard this before. Y'all can find me on Instagram at Marcus Ain't On The Gram, Facebook at Marcus Ain't On The Book, and TikTok at Tank Don't Talk. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't think uh, I got you on TikTok now. Tank, tank Don't go. Talk. Uh, tank okay. Don't Talk. And you can also uh, have a YouTube channel called Tanksley TV. I do a series called uh, Tasting With Tank, and you're going to see them on there. Los, you're going to see a lot of my friends interviewing them and just having a good time. Yes. Honey, well, very good. Make sure y'all check them out. And uh, listen, if y'all out there and you a dreamer and you a Bring realist, and y'all in this relationship together, honey, hold on. Come on. Okay? Amen. You, you'll balance it out and, and then your dreams Friday. will become very real. Okay? Absolutely. You can so and be so. Okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, until the next time, honey, y'all going about y'all business and have the most amazing day. But even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go you messing do. up with nobody else's. Love y'all. Bye. Y'all be doing fam. Uh, Thank you for watching this episode, honey. And if you liked it, go ahead and click right here for more of those episodes. And if you haven't already subscribed, please remember to do so. Very good.